Welcome, this is week 19 of Mr. Fisher Flips 3rd grade math. We are using math expressions and this is lesson 4-15 where we are going to be practicing our subtraction. We're going to practice some methods. Let's get started today. This is a reminder of how we do Mr. Fisher's Flips 3rd grade math. First of all, you need to go to the blog, and at the blog you will find that there is the lesson for Monday, the lesson for Tuesday, which is your homework, and the lesson for Wednesday. The pattern goes like this. If you go to Mr. Fisher's blog, you will find the original blog. You can go do some math practice, and you can uh, practice some math songs, and those are working with the uh, multiplication times tables. The pattern is on Monday through Friday we will have a lesson in class, but you will have homework on Monday and Tuesday night. Well, Monday or Tuesday. If you watch Monday or Tuesday, your homework will be due Wednesday. And you watch on either Wednesday or Thursday because your homework is due on Friday. And that's the pattern that we will be following. And remember, if you go to the blog, you can also, if you forget, you can be able to print off the homework. And if you miss a day, you can also do the classwork. Let's get going with uh, an anytime problem. I'm going to have you stop if you'd like and see if you can configure this out on your own. Let's try to figure it out together. Three students can sit on each of the two long sides of the rectangular picnic table. So we need a student. How many students can be seated if three tables were connected end to end? We're going to show you how we do that. Well, first of all, I've got my guys ready to go, and we're going to count. If we have these three tables, table one, table two, and table three, we can go around and count where they go. Well, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and remember we can only have one at the end. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we can have 20 students sitting at these three tables. Hopefully you figured that out on your own. I want you to make sure you continue to practice your multiplications. And I want you to practice your threes, fours, and nines. If you practice your threes, your fours, and your nines, you're going to see that the threes will come up when you use your nines and your fours come up when you use your eights. Those multiples are sometimes the same. Anyway, practice your threes, fours, and nines. Well, let's get started with uh, the lesson today. And today's lesson is going to be very short. We're going to model, apply, and problem solve. Pretty easy. Well, let's look at this problem. Um, Ken collects photographs as a hobby. He has 375 photographs in his collection at home. If Ken brought 225 of his photographs to share with his classmates, how many photographs did he leave at home? And we're going to try and use this uh, base 10 blocks to figure this out. If I look at the problem itself, do I need to regroup any of the ones? If I have 5 and I take away 5, I'm going to take those away, right? So 5 take away 5, I'm going to throw in the garbage. So there's 0 in that column. Now can we take seven away from, or 2 away from 7? You bet you. Let's take how many away? 2. 1, 2, and let's throw those in the garbage. We took those away. And so 7 minus 2 is 1, 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 10. And we take 200 away from 300. So let's take one of these away. Okay, and 3 minus 2 is 1. Uh-oh, we didn't take 2 away. There, 150. And we show that by taking 100 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 50. Not too bad for a shabby start. Okay, let's try see if you can figure this one out on your own. And then we'll figure it out together. Andrea and John needed 750 tickets to get, to, to get a board game. They have 559 tickets. So let's take 750 minus 559. Instantly, I can see that I cannot take 9 away from 0. So I'm going to have to regroup. If I regroup from here, that makes that a 4, and that becomes a 10. Well, I can take 10, 9 away from 10 now. That's 1. But look, now I can't take 5 away from 4. So I'm going to have to regroup again. Take 100 away, and I'm going to regroup and make that 140. 14 minus 5 is 9, and 6 minus 5 is 1. Let's check our answer. And our answer says 191 more tickets. Good job. Now try this one. See if you can do this on your own. Okay, when 
subtracted 236 from 546. Did he have to ungroup to make more tens? And did he have to ungroup to make more ones? So let's check the tens column. Does he have to take and ungroup? No, three is less than four. So we can go four minus three and that would work. Now let's look at the sixes or at the ones place. Do we have to ungroup to make more ones? No, because six minus six equals zero. And so we can continue with our problem. Four minus three is one, one ten, and 500 minus 200 is 310. Let's check your answer, see if you did it. No, there are more tens in the top number than in the bottom number. And there are the same number of ones in the top and bottom numbers. So we figured out that one subtracted correctly. Excellent. Now, I want you to realize that vertical means up and down. So when you see a problem, it's sideways, like 543 minus 120. 9, that's horizontal. But we can take that and make it vertical. Which way is easier to subtract? Something to think about. Do you always have to have the big number on top when you subtract? Question you should be asking yourself, right? Why is the tall number or the big number always on the, on the top? That will be something you can discuss with your classmates. Your homework tonight will be uh, about 12 problems. There will be five story problems and about four problems that are review. Another three problems that you'll have to figure out with this one story problem. So let's look at that really quick. But before we do, I wanted to show you a challenge. These are for kids that get done early. I'll zoom in on this so you guys can see this. But this is the Miles of Ocean Coastline. And you have California, Washington, Oregon, Texas, Louisiana, Alabama. Your challenge is to see if you can come up with a math problem using these states that have ocean coastline. And see if you can see maybe who has the biggest or combine a couple of them. So you're using either adding or subtracting to find one of these problems. So that's a challenge. You do not have to do that. Now we'll look at the homework. Here's the homework, and we have three problems right there. There are story problems. Joey collects baseball cards. Susan downloads songs. And Sahil scores 202 points in his, uh, for his football team. Then there's two other problems. Jennifer travels. And the bookstore collects books. So those are the first five problems. And here's the review questions. Remember math drawings. You can put these in rows. An array, remember. After that is this problem with Selena. Selena reads a book every week. The book she read last week had 149 pages. This week she just finished a book with 283 pages. How many pages did she read during the two weeks? And so you need to solve the problem, write a subtraction problem, and stretch your thinking. So that's your homework. And I want you to remember to do a WSQ. When and where did you watch this video? Sum up what you saw and question. Write one question you might have about watching the video. That is our lesson for today. Make sure you're practicing your subtraction. Good night.